Place the flour in a bowl and gradually add the boiling water. Make sure the water is boiling. Initially, mix the flour and the water with a spatula in the bowl. After that, place it on to a surface and knead the dough thoroughly for 8 to 10 minutes. This is a soft dough. Now break the dough into two parts and shape it like a baton or a tube. It doesn't need to be perfectly shaped. It needs to have a diameter around one, one and a half inches. Wrap it with a cling film and leave aside for 30 minutes to rest. Dusting corn flour onto the surface, cut the dough into 12 to 13 equal size pieces. Once cut, cover it with a damp cloth until further use. Taking each piece one at a time, roll it with a rolling pin. Now you may not be able to roll it as a perfectly round shape. So that's why after rolling it thinly, I am using a dough cutter to have a perfectly round shape. Place it under the damp cloth and repeat the same process for each of the pieces. Place the stuffing in the, on the middle of the dough, dip one finger to a bowl of water and apply water through the half of the dough. Now I have made the filling recipe in advance. All I have done is I have taken all the ingredients listed on the recipe and mixed it well with a spoon. Now traditionally a goisa is made with pork but I'm using chicken here. You can use any mix you want. Close the dough and shape it as shown on the video. Now this takes practice. I'm not doing it perfectly as well but if you are unable to take the shape of the pleating then simply fold it. That should be sufficient. Add the prepared goisas into the hot pan with oil and let them color on one side. One of the main difference between a goisa and a dumpling is the way it is cooked. So to cook a goisa you have to have a pan that is heated well with oil. When it, it has a golden caramelization on one side, turn it over and Add a little bit water to the pan, not a lot, just enough to cook the goisas through and close it with the lid. Now what you're doing here is you're letting the goisa steam in the water that you added. When the water is evaporated, take off the lid. And that's it. Now your goisas are ready to be enjoyed with a dipping sauce served on the side.